Hi, my name is Vicky Nash and I'm Deputy Director and Senior Policy Fellow here at the OII. Hi, and I'm Jonathan Bright, a Senior Research Fellow also here at the OII. So we are co-teaching a really interesting course that looks at the way in which government politics is changing. Uh, quite clearly there are many changes which are not down to te technology. We've got uh, declining uh, levels of political trust, the rise in new social movements, but the changes we're particularly interested in are the technological ones. Uh, the focus of this course will be on the ways in which new technologies, digital technologies, are providing governments with new tools for interacting with citizens and citizens with ways of developing new relationships with government. We'll also though be looking at the new sources of data and data science, which give governments and social movements incredible new resources for both uh, understanding and shaping social and political relationships. Mm. Yeah, so uh, to give one example of what we're going to be studying, we're going to have, there's a week of the course looking at the area of populism. And as you will know well, uh, populism is a force that's becoming increasingly important in democratic uh, countries all across, uh, all across the world. Um, and many of these populist messages are being communicated across uh, social media platforms. Many populist leaders are uh, really artfully using uh, social media to communicate their messages. So one thing we're going to be looking at in the course is how can we use new tools and techniques to understand uh, populism, new ways of measuring it, new ways of automatically detecting it, let's say, new ways of looking at how it spreads. And we're also going to be looking at how the people in populist movements themselves might make use of data science techniques, for example, through targeted marketing or these types of micro-targeting of adverts to, to spread their messages. So we'll do that for overall eight topics, uh, and at the end of the course, students should come away with a really deep understanding of the theories and the concepts and the methods required to understand government and politics in the era of technology and data science.